Get money, give money, hire a publicist even if it makes your father go bankrupt. The no-bake recipe for becoming a 2000s icon is laid out in the opening Salvo Queen Maker, The Making of an It Girl, Zachary Drucker's busy documentary about the founding daughters of the social revolution. Armed with accessories, both flashy and feathered, girls have been populating world since the creation of capital. But privacy used to be cornerstone of privilege, and Gilded Age provision said that names of respectable ladies should only appear in newspaper when they were born, married, or. Drucker's film chronicles the moment when many wealthy women dared to gain public attention. That doesn't mean it's a purely empowering development. At the time of Queen Maker's passing, 40-year-old Drucker was living in New York City and attending the School of Visual Arts. He read tabloids and frequented nightclubs in the city center where characters who filled his movie were VIP gods. Having a parasocial relationship with them was almost inevitable, and they helped shape his sense of self. I was designing my identity as a woman at the time, Drucker said. I started hormone therapy in 2003. Among the ashes of 911 were Paris and Nikki Hilton, who rose like Aphrodite. Ivanka Trump. Johnson Johnson Air Casey Johnson, who in bed at age 30 in 2010. These young women were reality TV stars before reality TV famous for not doing one thing, but having everything bags, jewelry, and invitations. Many also had help from Vertisar Corey Hay, who called himself Queen Maker in the movie. It turned Tinsley Mortimer, sculptural southern blonde into social swan with day job and future Real Housewives star. The powerful publisher had him quit his job before accepting Mortimer as a client. She taught him how to look in a multitude of designer dresses for up to seven events in one night. I told him it was a silent movie game more than anything, she said. He really shouldn't talk too much. Another queen creator was Paris Hilton, who figured out how to stir up intrigue without saying anything more than it's so hot. The air has bred and left best friends, boyfriends and dogs at cheetah speed. She was determined to build a narrative that would keep people watching, says former gossip reporter Lola Ogunek in the film. Ben Whittacombe, once a Page Six reporter and author of Gatecrasher Memoir, was among the producers who initially turned to Drucker to direct film. He was Alice Cahara's aide, Drucker said. The form of the film was determined by who was willing to sit down for interviews. Only a few of the It Girls agreed to meet with the team, including Olivia Palermo and Mortimer. Many have chosen not to be in the limelight anymore at this point, Drucker said of the challenge. It could be bigger picture, but the more specific you are, more universal it will be, he reasoned. Despite his unorthodox background, it was often Mortimer who stood at the top of high society. Nightlife Queen 